It's Jack from B&T McFarland. Today we're going over the best snow equipment and attachments that you can get. So let's get into it. When we woke up this morning, it was zero degrees up here in Ottawa, Canada. So I thought no better to time to talk about some snow equipment than today. So we're gonna go over some attachments that you can add to your tractors to make snow removal a little bit easier in the winter. So we're gonna start here with this BX2380 that is all set up, ready for the winter. We're gonna start off the list with not so much a piece of snow removal equipment, but something that's gonna make your life very nice in the winter is a fully enclosed cab with a heater kit like on this BX2380. It's definitely geared towards someone with a more intense driveway or a commercial snow application that's going to be doing it for eight or nine hours a night. If you have a kilometer long driveway it might be very painful to do it in an open station tractor but on the other side of the story too if you only have like a five six car laneway it might not be necessary to invest in something as expensive as a cab for your tractor. The first piece of snow removal equipment we're going to look at is a front blade. On this BX2380 it is fully hydraulically controlled. It hooks up to the K-Connect system that hooks up your front sweeper and front blower. Hooks right up to that, no problem at all. The only disadvantage if you're looking to get a blade and a blade only is that if you have a hill to go up or any kind of steep inclines on your property, it can get a little bit slippy in the winter so you might want to invest in some tire chains because you physically have to push the snow. It's not getting blown away like it would with a snowblower so just keep that in mind if you're shopping around for a blade another thing to note too when you're looking at a front blade you want to make sure it's significantly wider than your tractor because there's nothing worse than getting a blade that's the same width as your tires and then when you angle it the snow will actually come off the side of the blade and go right underneath your tires so you're going to be constantly going over bumps if you have a blade that is the same width as your tractor Next up on the list is a front snow blower. This is probably the nicest attachment you can get for your tractor to clear snow in the winter time. On the front of this F series here, it's about 51 inches, which is also very nice because it is wider than your tractor. And you do typically want the snow blowers the same width as your tires or a little bit wider because you don't want to be right at your tires whenever you're going close to something, whether that be an obstacle or your house. And you also typically want to get it with a hydraulic rotator and a hydraulic deflector. You don't want to have to install a manual crank on the side of your tractor in order to rotate the chute and you definitely don't want to get out of your warm cab to adjust the pitch of the chute itself. Just as we talked about the front snowblower, now we have to talk about rear snowblower options. These are pretty common, probably the most common snowblower we do sell at this dealership. And there are a couple configurations that you can get on these snowblowers. This one right here, it's massive. It's a bit of an exception. So most of them that, that you do see won't be this big. They'll only have a single auger down below. Um, the disadvantage of going with a three point hitch snowblower is again that neck strain. You do have to back up in order to use this blower. So if you're doing any kind of long stretches of driveway or huge parking lots that you do want to use a blower, just keep that in mind. You don't constantly want to be turning your head one way or the other to actually clear the snow. And another thing to note, on a big tractor like this, it's not as important, but on a smaller tractor, if you got a rear BX blower, there's not going to be very much down pressure because when you have your three point hitch, there's no down pressure in the three point hitch. Whatever weight the blower weighs, that's how much scraping power you're going to have into the asphalt. Where if you get a front blower, it's ran off of the loader controls. So you can physically take your front blower and put it into the ground. So if you want to get rid of the ice on your driveway, you can really dig in and scrape off that ice. Another blower option you can get for the rear of your tractor is an inverted type blower. So this one, instead of having a backup, you actually drive forwards. The only disadvantage with this one is you have to drive over the snow first before you get to the actual snow blowing part. So that's one thing to, to keep in mind. If you don't plan on your blowing your driveway after every single snowfall, say it's a cottage property and you're not gonna be up there all the time, you don't wanna go up there and it's four feet of snow and then you have to drive your tractor through the four feet of snow. You'll end up having to take your loader and scoop the snow out, out of the way before you actually get to the snow blowing part. So if you're going to be doing it after every single snowfall, this is a really good solution because they work extremely well and it gets rid of the problem of you having to turn around and look behind you. You can just get some side view mirrors and take a look how your blower is doing. 
And then we're gonna step forwards here. This is what a sweeper is. So in some southern climates where they don't get as much snow, you can actually use a sweeper to get rid of the snow on your property. Up here in Canada, they don't work as well because they really only work for maybe an inch or two of snow. But a lot of people, they do use this type of sweeper. It's a little bit smaller on like an LX series tractor or a B series tractor in order to clear some outdoor hockey rinks on their frozen lake or on their actual outdoor rink in their backyard. We get asked this question all the time is, can I use my front bucket to clear snow from my driveway? Yes, you can, but it's definitely not the ideal situation. If you're on a bit of a tighter budget and you want to still use your front loader to clear your driveway, I would highly recommend investing a few thousand dollars into getting a dedicated snow pusher that fits onto the skid steer style quick attach. It's going to save you a ton of time because the bucket, it fills up with snow very, very quickly and you can't really push snow with it. It starts piling up, spilling back over the front of your bucket and then out the sides. If you get a snow pusher, I'll show a video of one probably somewhere around here or just cut to it. But it's like, it's essentially a box scraper that's flipped upside down so you can push snow and then it also has a back drag blade on the top. So if you need to pull snow away from your garage door, you can flip your loader over and pull snow away from whatever you need to pull it away from. We can't talk about snow removal equipment without talking about getting rid of the ice because that's a huge problem, especially with the amount of freezing rain we've been having the past couple of years. You definitely want some kind of salting solution. If you have a smaller driveway and you're not too worried about getting a little bit colder, you can get a push behind spreader that you can just walk down your driveway and spread the salt that way. But if you have a longer driveway or a commercial snow application, you can get some uh, salter or sander options for the back of your tractor or the front of your skid steer. This right here is what they call a drop a drop salter. Um, so basically it's not going to broadcast it ev everywhere. It's just going to drop it straight down. We typically see these in sidewalk applications. So this right here, it's a narrow M5 tractor. So it's designed specifically for sidewalks. And this right here is about the width of a sidewalk. So it's just going to drive along the sidewalk and drop the salt straight down. But if you had a driveway that's a little bit wider, I would recommend getting a broadcast spreader so that you can actually spin it and cover the entire width of your driveway in one pass. The last piece of snow equipment goes in conjunction with having a front blade or a front snowblower. Basically any front snow removal attachment works really, really well with a rear blade or a rear box scraper because the front attachments, they only work so well. You can't really pull the snow away from your garage doors or any obstacles. But if you have a box scraper or a blade, you can set that blade down and pull it away from your garage doors so you can come through after with your front blade or a front snowblower. And that pretty well concludes today's video. If there's any snow removal equipment that I missed, leave it down below in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching. And if you need help with parts, sales, or service, give us a call at 613-225-0555. Thank you.